Hello, how are y'all? Good. Could be better. Could be at work. But What's going on? So, initial incident. Woke up, heard yelling in the driveway. Came out here. In saw, your driveway? Yeah, in the driveway. The person I described over the phone, 5'5", five, five, cream sweater and shorts. She pulled into the driveway with a red Mazda. Proceeded to back up to recreate an incident that happened over a month ago. There was an accident over a month ago. Do you know this that, person? Um, no. We moved no. here like about a month and a half ago. This is my friend's here. car. Okay. Um, I was using it to back out so I can go into an interview. And I accidentally hit the car because it's directly behind us. It's also okay. parked out in the road. So you were involved in whatever initial accident yeah. no, this other lady is talking he about. He doesn't care for it. We've texted. Yeah, I've called my insurance to make sure that he's reassured. And he is insured for his car. And we've discussed so, it. Is, yeah, she's not insured. And she I am insured, though. Is this person involved in this? Then? So this is, is her? Yeah, she's involved. Because that happened today. Wait, today? What happened today? This. This lady was driving the red car? Yeah, this lady was driving the red Mazda, which happened, which that, a, that occurred. Ma'am, will you wait and talk to me just a moment? Wait over there. I won't. I won't. But he won't. Were you... And so is she. Okay. No, I'm not. I am she insured. Ryan told me. Ma'am, did you just... I'm not going to argue. No. Do you understand? I'm here in charge of this now. Okay? So you need to calm down and listen yeah, to what I'm no, telling you. I am. Okay? Were you just in a vehicle? No. Was this lady was in the vehicle that yeah. just... She has a ring doorbell. You could see her pulling in our driveway. Really? She did back into it or almost backed into it? Almost. I'm not saying that she did. So no. She, she did she, not hit a vehicle. This, this Hyundai okay. is uninsured and okay. she literally told Ryan Lee... What's, walk over here. Walk, no. Walk over here. No. Wait, 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 ma'am. Do not put your hands on me. Do you understand me? Do you understand me? Oh. Do you understand? Yeah. Put your hands behind your back. Gotcha. No. Keep your hands behind your back. Literally, what is going on? For what? Scammy, give me traffic. Please, Put what? your hands behind your back and stay there. What is going on? Don't. When you push a law enforcement officer, oh, what that's what it? happens. Okay. You're 10, 15, 10, 10. <laughs> so you need to be here. Step up. Walk over to my car. Literally, don't need the way you put your hands on me. Like you are being arrested for battery on a law enforcement officer, ma'am. Oh no, no, no. Yes, ma'am. You can't put your hands on us. Can you unhook it from the other side? Yeah. No. Just what are we Listen. I want you to calm down. Yes, sir. You don't do anything silly. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. What is your name? Where do you live at, Sarah? I'm Virginia, Gulf Breeze. You live in Gulf Breeze? Yeah. Where are you With at right grandma. now? With my grandma. Where are you at right now? With my boyfriend. Do you have any pockets on your pants? No, sir. I feel free to check. Have a seat right there. You have an ID in your purse? Yeah, it's in the pocket. Okay. The <sighs> yeah, I come around the corner and I saw right me in the trash can moving. I'm like, wait a minute. Yeah. Hey, right. <laughs> um. So who did she? Whose car did she get? Uh, who owns this red car? She's in the house. She just calls that damage this morning. The dent on the right. Yeah. The one near the fender. The, the one on the door handle was already there. That was a yeah. month ago, and that was already a result. We're going through insurance. Okay. This because, out yeah, you backed out of it. So she started throwing a temper tantrum today and pulled up in your driveway yelling at y'all she's going to recreate an accident, something like that? No. So so I woke up this morning because I heard yelling, uh -huh. and she was pulled in our driveway. So I came out here to see what was going on. And she saw me, started yelling at her boyfriend or whatever, and then pulled out of the driveway, took off down the road, and parked down the road. And then she heard me on the phone with the police and took the car and left the neighborhood. I don't know where the car is now. While she was leaving the driveway, she caused a second dent on the right on the vehicle. Right. Whose vehicle? That vehicle. The, the Is it the guy that came out the door momentarily? Yeah, yeah, that, that belongs to him. Yeah. So it belongs to him. 
this vehicle belongs to him. Yeah. And she just did this dent here this morning. And that's what y'all were calling about because... Yeah, I was calling because she's like going crazy in her driveway. And she's right. Like, what was she saying when she was going crazy in the oh, driveway? Um, she was talking about how the, the other dent happened like a month ago and that he's freaking out about it and complaining about it when that's a lie because we've already resolved the issue and it's going through insurance. Right, okay. Well, she came up to me and she was yelling at them and I was telling her, listen, I'm here, I'm in charge, you're going to go across the street and I'll come talk to you in a moment. And I just, I didn't touch her, I just went, you're going to go across the street and then that's when she knocked my arm out of the way and hit me with her, her hand. So I'm going to charge her with battery LEO. So do y'all have any idea where the red Mazda is she was driving? There's only three streets in this neighborhood. And did she walk back? Yes, yeah, she, she walked, walked back. back. So I'm gonna say, and it was rather soon after we Okay. Alright, give me another moment, I'll be right with y'all, okay? What are we doing here? Alright. Sorry guys. No, um no. I have to ask first, did either one of y'all see her hit my arm out of the way? Yeah. So no damage to your car. It was like was she like threatening to hit your car because y'all accidentally hit hers, her boyfriend's? Mm, no, um, she wasn't clear with her intentions. She yeah. just kind of kept saying bet, bet, and then I saw her tap the trash can back up and then hit the other car. And then... So her car was pulled in here? Yeah, it was pulled in here, and then she backed out and turned the other way. Alright, well walk over here with me real quick. I'm going to get you taken care of in case you got to go do something. And all you have to do is tell her that she is not allowed on your property, and then you can walk away, okay? Sure. Listen to what he has to say. Ma'am, you're not allowed on our property anymore. All right. Thank you so very much. Okay. Yes, ma'am. What can I do for you? I'm sorry. Like, can I just help? Can you what? May I go? Like, what's going? May you what? I'm sorry. May I know what's like the next step? Oh, I'm going to take you to this Gamby County Jail and charge you for battery on a law enforcement officer. There are laws to protect us. You are not allowed to put your hands on us. And by you striking me and swatting my arm, I that... Didn't want you. Yes, ma'am. I got it on, but it's all on video camera, ma'am. I'm so sorry. I know that doesn't count, but I feel like my story deserves to be heard. Yes, ma'am. You'll have your day in court to tell your story. All right, any other questions for me? All right, thank you all so much for your time and help, okay? Thank you. So what, what happened with you and my deputy here? I have to... You did what? You acted out? Yeah, but he was very rough with me, too. And I'm so... Did you not listen to him? What was he telling you to do? It was all so quick. All I know, I, I, as soon as he told me to be done, I was done. If you can look at, if there's yeah, any video, you. you can see how many times he slapped me against that chair. Yeah, he fell over. So I don't think I'm playing for that, no problem. I deserve it. I just want to make sure he's okay. He is. I told him. Is there anything else you think you need to tell me you're talking about? I just want to be a part of this situation. I don't want to be close up in here. I got you. Well, we're probably going to close it. We just can't leave the door open, so we're just going to close it up, okay? Oh, yeah. i got to ask her information. Okay. He, he's going to confirm some stuff. Not right now. How tall are you? That's what we're doing. Um, five, five and a half. How much do you weigh? Um, like maybe 130 pounds. Hair color brown? Brown. What color eyes? Blue. Do you mind giving me your social? I don't want you, but I know it. You don't have to. I can't. Him. Are you employed? Yeah, the same place. Where you, Ryan, work, where you work at? Flounder's Chowder House. And Virginia Tech, too. What's your title at Flounder's? Server. And my, my title, if you were going to ask about Virginia Tech, is Graduate Research Assistant. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. All right, Miss I need to ask you some questions, but before I do, I have to Mirandize you, okay? Please don't. All right. Don't what? Please don't. Don't what? Don't Mirandize? I have to Mirandize you. It's the law. Before I ask you a question in reference to those pills that were in your purse, I have to Mirandize you. 
You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in court. Do you understand each of the rights I just explained to you? In reference to these pills that I'm fixing to ask you about. Please, because I'm literally prescribed them by my doctor. I know, but I'm fixing that. We're going to talk about I'm that. I'm sorry. Answer I don't my know question. what's going on. Answer my questions first. Yes, Do yes, you sir. understand the rights I explained to you? Yes, sir. Okay. Have you previously requested any law enforcement officer to talk to an attorney? Okay. <laughs> With these rights in mind, do you want to talk to me about that? Okay. I'm really so sorry. The, there's three pills in there. Okay? The, there's the ones in the Ziploc bag. <laughs> Prescription for Yes, sir! Okay, what about the one pill that was in the zipper compartment by itself? It's like a brown gold pill. Is it my... Yep. Yes, I'm prescribed that too. Do you have a prescription for that? Yes, as well? sir. And if it's in my zipper, it just is old. Yes. Well, it looks so it, it looks old, but the problem is, is that you don't have the prescription with you, but you have you have, oh, I, I, and I have to determine if I have to charge you criminally for it. Yes, sir. Because people are not allowed to possess prescriptions. Right. No, I'm literally prescribed two a day. Okay. And I believe you. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, sit tight. We'll be going in just a moment. Okay? What's that? I want to be a part of what's going on. Well, you are. I've told you everything that's happening and what's going to happen. I don't want to be arrested. Please don't arrest me. I don't know You go around or you can come through. Well, either way. <laughs> either way. Whatever you want to do. May have been easier to go around, but you know, go ahead. You just don't seem like you're too confident with your driving skills. Alright, so I'm not going to charge her with the pills. Alright, we are out in the jail. Do you want me to come put your seat belt on? That's your choice as your backseat passenger. So cool back here. I just want to say goodbye to my love. Well, I can turn the heat up. Can I say goodbye to Ryan? Only if he can hear you through that window. I don't think there's even hope. I know, right? So that that was a no. Please. It's not going to be able to happen. Okay, so do you want your seatbelt on or not? I don't really know. I don't want to want to be... I don't want to do any of this right now. Okay. I'm so like, I'm so, like I don't... <laughs> about something that doesn't have anything to do with you or relevance. Why are you upset? Because all this was unnecessary. It was! No, it was not. No, I'm saying it was unnecessary. Well, you're I am right. agreeing with you. I'm like, is there anything more about you, dude? Because you don't know how to behave. Did anybody see how you pushed me against the trash can twice? Yes, my car camera caught it. My does that count for anything? It's 100% of the truth, ma'am. It's a video. Absolutely. That's why I'm like, like, I was like, like so shocked right now. Your wife on your on your profile picture? Oh no, yeah, that's my wife. For real? Yeah, I know. So do you know how I feel about Ryan? And do you know 
that the people that called the police literally hit his car a month ago and he let them go. Do you know any of that? Do you know that that's what insurance is for? He's not insured and neither are they. But that's his choice, not yours. And it wasn't his choice for this to happen. I have insurance. People that weren't even involved. I understand that, but I'm like, people that are not even involved in this situation are getting to call the shots. And he could have done this. He don't even want to hear from me. You literally bought the entire trash can over and did anybody see that? I was literally bent over the trash can. Are you going to acknowledge that? That you were bent over the trash can? I don't. I know that you don't want to. I don't see anything wrong with that. It's a trash can. They're not very solid. That's just where you chose to. Polypropylene is very solid. What do you know about polymers? <laughs> no, I'm, I'm literally asking you. What do you know about polypropylene? Oh, obviously nothing. I know. <laughs> obviously. Because you obviously thought it wasn't very solid. And scientists have done research for literally decades. How do you throw away a trash can? You don't. But you were so quick to bust me over it. Probably like you do your... Mm-hmm. That was sick, man. That men just get to do that type of shit. And women, they just have to take it. Turn me over on a trash can twice. Full video and you still have a good... You think I'm just start doing that? Hey, watch. Uh oh. Some people just don't realize. It's okay. They're allowed to be on the road too. I know. It, I know it's hard, but like they're literally allowed to be here too. <laughs> they are literally so allowed to be here too. They're allowed to merge. It's ridiculous that they get to do that. Can I press charges on you? Sir. Literally not even being responsive? This is incredible. I'm about to press so many charges. Should I... Should, should somebody Mirandize you? Anything that you say or do may be held against you in the court of law, like the video. Do you have a camera on your... Please say you do. like you can't hear me acts like you didn't bust me over like ass down over the trash can like sexualizing me say you weren't and that's what it was what's your name sir oh so you you don't owe me that information may i ask for it right now why is that yeah, what's your name, sir? You shouldn't be able to withhold that type of information from somebody. I'm not. You literally are. I'm literally, I'm not. What is your name? Really? It literally does call me. You had to ask me my name. What is your name? You literally gave me over a trash can. Ass down. Say you didn't. You can't say that. Because you did. Do you have a daughter? Would you do that to her? Would you want your off, like your best officer friend, to do ass down over the trash can twice? That was very uncomfortable. He knows better than to say something here. He'll he incriminate himself. Be careful. Red light. <laughs> that was a really nice, just like punch on the gas pedal do you want to f me up back here like you did over the trash can like I'm, I'm honestly curious do you want to hurt me do you have ill will towards every public citizen that you have to fight for do you have ill will public servant 
has so much ill will towards the society that you literally live in. You see those stickers on that guy's car? Is that how you decide who you're gonna pull over? Some political? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I know. You ain't gotta tell me twice. Why were you at CVS Pharmacy earlier? The suspect was charged with one count of battery on an officer, as well as resisting without violence. In the end, she pleaded no contest to both counts and was sentenced to a diversion program.